Yo, what is going on guys? So I'm back again with another video and today is a good day for several reasons. One, because I finally got the car back from, from not the shop, but from I guess you could say the shop. It's really uh, one of my dad's friends' house that, that fixes his cars basically. And I said it, as I said in the past, I was getting my clutch and my flywheel replaced and I finally got the car back from the shop. It's been so long since I've seen like this car. I don't even know, it's been over a month. Literally, I stalled going into first gear I mean, I, you know it's muscle memory, but literally I stalled coming out of first gear. Like, I was so nervous to drive it again. But guys, when I tell you, here's what it was getting replaced. So, oh, this is heavy. Look at this clutch. Oh my goodness. This clutch has been absolutely slaughtered. Like, this thing is flimsy. Like, I feel like I could just break this with my hand. This thing is absolutely slaughtered. Here's the flywheel too, which we also got replaced. But yeah, so just got a brand new flywheel and clutch and the car's finally running again. It is insanely dirty, so I'm about to give it a good detail. I'm about to clean it up, but I'm super tired. Literally, I went to bed like at 5 a.m. last night and I had to wake up super early this morning, like at seven. Uh, yesterday's when I filmed, was when I was filming when we went to the woods and like I got home really late. And I'm super tired while well, I'm like really quiet, but I'm super tired. But I'm actually super excited to finally get this car back. Now that all the maintenance is done, besides I'm gonna do a new oil change, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna replace the brake pads and I'm probably gonna get new rotors, but um, besides that maintenance, but it doesn't need it, that's just what I'm gonna do. But besides that maintenance, this thing's finally ready for modifications and I'm finally ready to start modifying this thing. Uh, one of the first things I'm gonna do is, as you can see, <laughs> the toe strap is still on there. I'm gonna get rid of the satin black wrap. I still plan on wrapping this whole car, but I decided not to go satin black. I'm gonna go gloss black instead. Plus, I need to put new adhesive on the wing because this one, the wing's getting kind of loose. So, and I got the new wheels. I just have to go pick up some tires and then I'll get the wheels mounted on the car. And oh my gosh, just. What the heck? Shut up, bitch! Anyways, the freaking Air Force is, I guess, doing a freaking, I don't even know, Hiroshima. There's a squirrel right there. Alright guys, fourth time filming this. Um, I, I don't even know, like literally, my face, I had the camera like right up in my face and I was like, what am I doing? So, I'm gonna jump right into this video guys, it's still the same exact day. I'm insanely tired, but honestly, like I'm so excited to start doing things to this car. So the first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna install. This M Sport shifter, it's an OEM shifter, and ever since I got into BMW, I thought this was the coolest thing ever, and I've always wanted to put it inside of a manual, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna put it inside the manual, and then um, I also have the Crown Royal Shift boot. Probably gonna get a bunch of hate for that, but I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I wanna install it, or not really install, but I wanna put it in the car. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I also have some carbon fiber uh, wrap over there, which I do plan on wrapping the interior, the whole interior trim. But at least for today, when I pick up the middle piece, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, when I pick up the middle piece, I won't have to worry about taking it off again in the future when I wrap the whole trim. I can just do it today and get it over with already. So I'm gonna jump right into this video, guys. So I'm, so yeah. All right, guys, looking at the actual interior trim, it looks like I'm probably not gonna wrap it today. I thought I was, but it looks like the shift boot is on the outside of the trim. So instead of just having the wood and the carbon fiber, um, I'm just gonna do it all at once. Not today in another video when I actually get some sleep and I'm ready to like be a little bit more energetic, but I've wanting, been wanting to do this for so long. So that's why I'm gonna install the M Sport shifter. And I'm pretty sure the thing, the way to get this off is literally just pull it off from the top. Um, so yeah. Alright guys, I didn't really have nowhere to put my camera, so I'm just gonna put it right here. Assuming this just pulls off, I'm gonna try to do this without like breaking it. Oh god, I just scratched myself in the face. I got it off, but um, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. In the videos, they make that look extremely difficult. Maybe it's just because I know when they did the replace the flywheel and clutch, they they access the transmission from the top for some reason. I forgot. They explained to me why, but so yeah. So that was actually a lot easier than I thought. Don't know what I'm going to do with this, but yeah. Guys, never mind. That pulled off way easier than I thought. I thought I was gonna. It turns out it was clips. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I thought it was like, yeah, it was clips. That was a lot easier than I thought. I didn't even have to take off the whole trim. But a hey, full track mode though, it's in neutral right now. But full, I don't have the clutch in. But full track mode, that's pretty dope actually. That'd be sick if I ran like that. But nah, it's gonna look dope. So 
I don't really know how I'm supposed to get the the crown thing around here, but I'll figure it out. Okay, we're looking at the actual at the actual shift boot. Um, I guess in the BMW E92, like this is pretty wide. Like, so my plan was to cut the bottom and just like seam it over like that, and then the end will come out from the top. But I don't know if that's going to be possible simply because this super small bottom compared to this wide boot. But I'm still going to try to make it work. I'm thinking about just cutting it and then trying to like this must part still might be exposed so i don't know how i'm gonna get it to stick i don't know if this is gonna be possible but i'm still gonna try if not then it'll just be a video about me installing this like literally like just seven minutes of me installing this but it's okay so yeah we'll try to figure this out Alright guys, uh, I got it. So I made it fit. Now I'm just gonna have to cut slits around the actual clips for the uh, for the boot to fit in. I'm surprised it fit, but literally the whole back of the bag is the bottom. So like it worked out perfectly. Like it is a perfect fit. Um, so now I'm just gonna run the shifter in here. So it's gonna be like that, and then I'll just tighten it up. But it's gonna I'm like, it's coming out pretty good so far. I just have to cut slits. Hopefully I don't mess up. But yeah. Alright guys, after about, I don't even know, 15 minutes maybe, it's just annoying because you literally have to cut the clips, like find the exact spot, and the bag is like, I know I said it's small, but it's like so big that it's like, you have to cut the right amount, like right, get it right in the right spot so the clips will fit, so it's just time consuming, I don't know how people say you can do it, I mean I guess maybe if your car has like less clips, but mine literally has like 80 clips just for the shift boot, so like it took me a while to cut the clips, but I mean I got it in, it doesn't look too bad, I mean, there are some imperfections like always, but I mean, it's pretty good. As you can see, it's a little bit open right there, but if I just tighten it up, it will close again. I just have it open right now. But um, I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, low key, now that I actually have it in, like, I don't know how I'm feeling it, y'all. Like, like, it's like, I don't know. I feel like it is like, I like it, but like, I think once I get this black interior trim, it's gonna look a lot better. I feel like the brown and the purple just don't like contrast at all. But I feel like once I do, once I get the black interior trim, it's gonna look good. But yeah, guys, that's a wrap for the video. I just want, as always, guys, um, you couldn't even see my face, but yeah, it looks pretty good. If you want to do this, just make sure you cut the. I think I don't know if I said it or not. Make sure you just cut the, cut it in the right spot where the clips are at. It's a little bit time consuming in my opinion, but that's just because there's a lot of clips. But as always, guys, stay humble, peace, love, positivity. I'm out.